My name is Yasin Olum. I'm a professor of public administration and I'm a consultant with Conrad Adenauer Stiftung. I'm going to talk on understanding accountability in local governments. Let us introduce this topic. Local governments are service delivery hubs for citizens at the higher local governments and lower local governments. Local governments can only deliver services if they behave accountably to the citizens. However, local government accountability should not be viewed in isolation, but as part of the broader issue of governance and public management. But what is accountability? Let us define it. Accountability is an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions or inactions. There are two major forms of accountability. Accountability is about answerability and enforceability. What is answerability? Answerability is the obligation to inform and to explain or justify one's action. Enforceability, on the other hand, is the roles of each team member and what value they can bring to the table because of their specific positions in that organization. In other words, local government accountability means that local governments must responsibly use their resources to provide services that meet the needs of constituents or the people that they must serve. There are nine types of accountability. Political accountability, ethical accountability, administrative accountability, financial accountability, social accountability, legal accountability, horizontal accountability, vertical accountability, and finally, bureaucratic accountability. Local actors must understand all these forms of accountability. Let us explain each of them quickly. Political accountability is accountability of the government, civil society, and politicians to the public and to legislative bodies. Ethical accountability, on the other hand, is the practice of improving overall personal and organizational performance by developing and promoting responsible tools and professional expertise, as well as advocating an effective enabling environment for people and organizations to embrace a culture of sustainable development. Administrative accountability deals with internal rules, those rules which are within organizations, as well as the norms and some independent commission, which hold civil servants within the administration of government accountable. Financial accountability is the cost, is the cost control in the proper use of financial resources, protection of assets, against financial corruption, and transparent financial reporting and building. What of social accountability? This is an approach toward building accountability that relies on civic engagement, civic engagement, that is, in which it is the ordinary citizens and or civil society organizations that participate directly or indirectly in exacting accountability. Legal accountability is the judicial institutions and judiciary as a whole as external principles which hold citizens, businesses, and politicians accountable.
horizontal accountability consists of that formal relationship within the state itself, whereby one state actor has the formal authority to demand explanations or impose penalties on another. We must remember that its focus is on internal checks and oversight processes. Unlike horizontal accountability, vertical accountability is a relationship between unequals, that is, for example, the government and the citizens. These are unequal partners, but they must relate. Or it entails the relationships between citizens and decision makers, including the ability of the citizens to influence political decision making processes. Finally, bureaucratic accountability, almost similar to administrative accountability, is the ability of the government, especially the executive, legislature, and judiciary, to hold the bureaucracy for its performance and its actions. So those three organs of government must hold bureaucracy accountable. Let us look at the accountability process. And here we are interested in the key stakeholders. We're interested in the duty bearers, as well as the population as critical actors or the citizens. Duty bearers, and here we have the elected officials as well as the appointed, are very critical actors in the accountability process. Why? because they are required to account for the actions and inactions to the citizens. And here the citizens are actually the beneficiaries of the services that the duty bearers are supposed to render. What is the mandate of the citizens? The citizens on their part should cause duty bearers to account for their actions or inactions how can the citizens make duty bearers account for their actions? This is very important. We look at three ways. Citizens must make sure first that they generate the platforms for notifications and complaints. They must have a platform. They must have a forum where they cause duty bearers to explain what they are doing. They must have complaint mechanisms where duty bearers do not deliver what they are supposed to deliver. The second way is through effective dispute resolution. Citizens can cause duty bearers to actually explain themselves and if they don't, they must resolve, have a mechanism of resolving what they have not delivered. And finally, three, citizens can define who the authority is and make sure they engage in their oversight function. These are the three. So generally, the process of accountability in local governments goes as follows. Once the local government has done its business as mandated in the Local Governments Act, the internal audit department of that local government will audit whatever it has done in a one financial year. Then it produces its report. Now, once it has produced its report, it surrenders it to the council, which is then tabled for deliberation and adoption. It is the council that then deliberates and also produces that report and forwards it to the Auditor General. It is the mandate of the Auditor General to present its report to Parliament it places it before the national parliament, which also then debates it and ratifies it and makes different resolutions on it. The parliament on its part is constitutionally mandated to cause further investigations where impropriety has been detected. Anyone found culpable is punished in accordance with the law. Now, 
we know that our local governments face problems, they face challenges, and we must make sure that they perform as is expected of them. Therefore, to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of programs and provide better local government accountability, the following should be done. One, we must implement a very sound budget process and effective management control systems, both internally and externally. That is point number one. Two, we must build integrity systems and incentives into the decentralization policy that came into effect in 1992. Three, it is important that citizens and their leaders engage in more productive public discussions. This way, the issues will be put on the table and resolved. Three, or rather four, produce reports for future monitoring and evaluation of programs and projects. These reports are very important. They must be utilized. If they are not utilized, then there is no purpose for which monitoring and evaluation has been done. Five, establish more transparent and, and effective institutional controls. Now, once institutions have internal control mechanisms, then it is possible to control or to curb uh, corruption and any malf and mal mal malfeasance that may take place in local governments. And finally, six, enhance the ability of supreme audit institutions or their private sector counterparts. In conclusion, I have to say this that accountability in local government is more important than ever before. That means we must take it seriously because ultimately local governments are accountable to citizens. Indeed, local governments must show that they are worthy of trust. Lastly, creating a culture of accountability will help local governments to build trust with citizens to begin with and then operate more effectively and efficiently and better serve the citizens it is supposed to serve. I thank you for listening to me.